Psalm 13, 6. I will sing praise to the Lord because he has always been so good to me. What is this magic? I need that magic. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sophiology on the ones and twos. Queen of the voiceover. Okay, um, I'm already being annoying. Anyways, I'm so excited. I'm so excited, like, I'm so excited because um, I have some pretty amazing news for you. So basically, while I do my makeup, I'm going to explain what's going on, what's popping on this channel. Things are about to change. Like, things are gonna be so different. Don't worry, you're definitely gonna like it. I took a poll with you guys on Snapchat and I got 2,000 screenshots, baby, of you guys saying yes, 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 you want it. So anyways, we all know fall is here. It's the best season of the year. Let me just make things clear. Let me stop rhyming actually. I'm about to slay everything, makeup, hair, fits, sis. I'm about to be throwing outfit inspiration your way. If you don't know how to dress, you about to learn today. Oh my God, another rhyme. Anyway, it's gonna be hard. Like, doing your makeup on camera is hard. Look at this heavy mirror I have to hold. Looking into this little spying glass to do my makeup. I gotta do my hair without a mirror too. But I'm doing it all for you because like, this is gonna be so inspirational. Why am I rhyming so much today? It's actually annoying. But for real though, this is about to be so much fun. Like, I've been wanting to do this forever. I'm about to give you all the tea on all the best makeup for the fall, the best hairstyles and colors for the fall, and the best outfits. Outfit, sis. I'm spilling the tea on where I get all my clothes and how I pair up my closet. But anyway, I just finished my makeup in like five minutes. I've never done that on my channel. Like I'm literally baking and finishing up. I'm going in with Laura Mercier powder. Oh, okay, about this. FYI, I do read all your comments. I love you guys so much. Um, I did see comments about like um, my powder washing me out. I'm a light skin, so it's not supposed to. I just think I was using a bit too much and over baking. So I've really like monitored that. And as you can see, my skin looks so much better. So thank you guys for your like um, corrective criticism. What do you call it? Constructive criticism. I really appreciate it. And I love y'all so much for it. Like my makeup game is came up with the help of you guys so look i'm helping you you're helping me this is like the best thing ever for today's fall look i'm basically going with my you know regular foundation routine the weather is absolutely beautiful right now so there's no need to do too much but for this makeup look today i want a classic eyelid which means like a deep crease and a very profound brow bone with a swangy lash so i did go in and define my crease i'm also highlighting with becca's champagne pop and man Look at that glow. This will forever be my favorite highlighter. Becca Champagne Pop, I love you so much. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that in on my brow bone. Speaking of popping, my champagne pop popped. Can you imagine? Anyways, I'm gonna finish this look off by lining my lips with um, a regular brown lip liner. And then I'm gonna go in with the best red lipstick in the world by Stila. Um, it can go with any skin tone. It just matters about that liner, right? The funny thing is, <laughs> You guys know I do not wear color and I totally did a sloppy job. So I'm gonna go in with a makeup wipe and carefully just use my nail to make a sharp line of that lipstick. And this lipstick lasts 24 hours. Just for your information, I'm gonna seal everything with UDs all nighter and that's it for the makeup. Surprise! We're going blonde today. You guys have seen Allison before. I say hello, don't be shy, girl. So she looks a little different, I know. I went in and I dyed her way lighter, bleached her more and more, toned her really ashy, and she just looks completely different, I get it. She's also very fried, so if not for the love of God, this wig would have been in the trash, but I said, I won't give up on you, Allison. I put some wand curls in her, and this is how she looks. Totally bonkers, I know. But don't worry, I'm gonna fix it. I'm gonna go in with got to be glued hair gel and just, 
you know, apply it to the baby hairs on the wig. We gonna need that to dry because it's looking really shiny right now. And the hair was at an awkward length, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut some of it off. I cut it off camera because I didn't want to make a mistake, but I did try to cut some on camera so you guys could see how I was cutting it. I'm literally just chopping at it. And I loved the style that it came out in. So cute, right? Anyway, we ain't gonna wait for the gel to dry. I know you guys are ready to see these outfits, so let's get dressed. Introducing our model for today, Sophieology. Yes, girl, stretch your stuff. Anyways, um, let me get dressed. Outfit number one is definitely for the Risqué Rochelles. Um, it's just a regular plaid coat, very cute, very snug. It's normally worn like this, um, has a nice collar to it and a nice um, waist tie. All I did was put it off shoulder, pick it up a bit, and it's very daring. You can just pair this with a style of knee-high boots and you got it. Outfit number two is definitely my favorite. We're gonna just call this one Sophieology's pick. Um, it's a gray sweater dress paired with some black knee-high heels, open-toed of course, um, but I prefer to wear the coat like this around the shoulders than around the waist. I paired it up with a red handbag, goes great with the red lipstick and some gold accessories. This is obviously my favorite outfit and I hope it's yours too. With outfit number three, I experimented a bit. It's basically the plaid coat with a nude onesie or play suit, whatever you call it, I don't know, paired with some nude knee highs. I was just really, really feeling the nude. And if you're feeling the aesthetic, I say go for it. Lastly, outfit number four is for my casual Cassidy's. I absolutely love this fit and the top. Oh my God, it has these cute elbow holes and they're so so stylish. It also fits the sit down test so it's not too short. To add some pizzazz, I added a pair of sock boots to the look and a casual clutch. I absolutely love this fit as well. So I hope you guys like all of the fits actually. Comment down below and let me know if you want more of these videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and let me know what kind of look you want to see next. Anyways, I'm tired of sucking in so I'll see you guys later. Bye! Look at all the things that I've done. I left my girlfriend cause I thought Hit that subscribe one. button work No I work No Okay Then she give me two minutes Oh yo yo I don't come That's irregular How you do the things that you do You be winch You say Always in the gym Walking out No be beans uh. I feel the thing you For this back It's illegal are the girls salty? Ah, is it legal? Nah. Ooh. It's a regular. I keep to some assault on top of your backside. Mm -hmm. I keep to leave my house, you looking for your backside. If I let you see you sweat on your feet, I shall with your backside. Mm -hmm. The front is good, but let us.